Hey, what's up, Pokemon Speed Beta? This is Chris Ree right here, and today I'm gonna bring you my first upload to this channel. Uh, this is going to be a UU match, and this is going to be a match against uh, someone uh, that I found on this Mogon uh, Wi Fi Battle Finder. So, this is going to be a UU match. I hope you guys enjoy my battling uh, style and my narration. So, as I said, this is going to be a UU match. Uh, this battle is against uh, someone who runs by the name of Trio or something like that. I don't remember correctly his username, but this is going to be an interesting match. So, without further ado, let's get this battle started. So, I decided to lead up with my uh, Ninjas, which is a choice banded one, and he decides to lead up with his Rose Raid. Now, he decides to switch out on his Empoleon, uh, predicting the or fearing the Air Slash, which is pretty obvious, and I miss, unfortunately, because I'm choice banned, I am forced to switch out. And I decide to bring out my Assumeril, because I know that I can wall uh, this Empoleon, or he cannot touch me. He went for the Stealth Rock on my switch, and that is like, oh crap. <laughs> uh, now, I decide to bring out my uh, Rhyperior. Well, well, he brought my Rhyperior because of the Roar, sorry. And now I decide to switch out and bring on my Whimsicott because I don't want to take uh, any uh, water moves on my Rhyperior right because I need it for later. He went for the Scald, which it sucks because he got the burn, but uh, uh, Whimsicott is uh, just to be like a little uh, troll, troll for my uh, team. Anyway, I decide to go for the Lich Seed and he decides to switch out and bring on his uh, Umbreon which will be seated and I'm like okay that's a good thing because I will be recovering HP but uh, but still I will be losing it because of the uh, burn now I decide to go for the taunt in case uh, that this Umbreon decide to, decides to go for the wish or cursing or some random shenanigans which indeed he, it happens to be uh, he went for the um, for the uh, curse but as I because I went for the taunt that, that because I went for the taunt sorry that won't be affected I Try to to encore him, but I guess the mechanics work different. He decides to go for the payback, and yeah. <laughs> now I decide to switch around and bring on my my Heracross, and he decides to switch around and bring out his uh, Rose Red. But he pulls out the double switch and brings out his um, his Hitmon top. I decided to go for the Mega Horn, which I think that was the safest move, but because I got intimidated, I won't be able to hit him hard. Plus, it's not super effective, and yeah, now because I'm Scarf, I decide to I'm, I need to switch out and bring out my something else. I decide to bring out my Whimsicott because perhaps I could do some uh, random stuff random stuff before dying. Uh, I went for the Lich Seed, but he predicts that and decides to bring out his uh, Rose Raid, which is like, okay, a good thing. I went for the Taunt in case he wants to go for uh, Spikes or Toxic Spikes, and it happened, so that's a good thing. My Whimsicott is uh, almost dead, but I can use it later as a Death Fodder. Now, I decided to switch around and bring on my Heracross, because I don't want him... Uh, him to die yet and he went for the hidden power because it's not super effective I guess it's uh, like I don't know which type <laughs> but anyway now he decides to switch out and bring out his uh, his hit on top and I went for the mega horn but because I'm um, I was lower because of the intimidate uh, but won't do a lot of damage now I decide to sack my whimsicott to see which type of uh, Hitman top it was, and he decides to go for the close combat. Now I decide to switch out and bring out my Ninjask, and I decide to go for the U-turn. Uh, fearing the Air Slash, he decides to bring out his uh, Rotom a hit, which is like, okay, but I, because I went for the U-turn, I have the switch advantage. So I decide to switch out and bring out my uh, Asumeril, which can do uh, some work. Now here comes this uh, Rose Raid, and I smack him with the uh, waterfall, but because it's not super effective, that won't do a lot of damage. Anyway, now I decide to bring out my Heracross, uh, predicting any uh, grass move. He decides to go for the Giga Drain, so that's a good thing uh, that I switch because now I can uh, save my uh, my Asumeril. Now here is the the same thing. He he when I when he brings his uh, Rose Raid, I bring out my Heracross, and he brings out his. Uh, hit on top, uh, I went for the Mega Horn, I got a crit which helped him, helped me and he, in the next turn he went for the Sucker Punch and I finished him so hit on top is uh, down which is a good thing, now here comes this, uh, this uh, Rotom now predicting or fearing any electric move I decided to switch out and bring out my Rhyperior and in the next turn he decides to go for the Willow Wisp, which is like, oh crap, I went for the Rock Polish to boost my uh, speed, so I can uh, do some uh, work. 
Now I went for the Stone Edge to bring his uh, Rotom down, but he makes a good switch and brings out his Empoleon, which uh, walls me completely. Now my Rapier is kind of useless, so I decided to stay in and to do and to go for the EQ that uh, almost uh, finished this Empoleon, but he went for the Roar and he brings my uh, my Heracross into the match, which is like oh crap! Now it's uh, he won't be able to take another uh, move. Now he decides to switch out and bring out his Rose Red and I went for the Mega Horn and that is almost going to kill her, well kill him, her, whatever, <laughs> and uh, he doesn't want to die yet so he decides to bring out his uh, his uh, Rotom and now he, wants, he decides to go for the Pain Split which is like okay, uh, that's a good thing for me because I recover some HP and I will be able to finish him with the... Uh, with the Mega Horde, now here comes Crocodile, and I guess this is this Crocodile is Scarf as most uh, Crocodiles are, and he decides to lock himself into Outrage, which is like okay, uh, he got a Moxie boost, which I wasn't expecting that, so I decided to bring in my uh, Snorlax, and I decided to start uh, stockpiling so I can boost my defense, and hopefully I can do uh, work. Uh, so yeah, now I decide to go for the rest uh, to recover all of my HP which will benefit me uh, a lot in the long term. Now he decides to switch out and bring out his Umbreon so he can uh, do some cursing stuff or some uh, wishing, I don't know what he will try to do, but he wants for the wish, so that's like uh, okay, a good thing to notice, so he most likely is going to bring out uh, his, uh, I guess Rose Raid is, is still alive, but he decides to bring out his Empoleon so he can roar me out, uh, he, now he will have all his HP. Well, almost uh, all of his HP back. I said to go for the Body Slam to do some damage before uh, before being switched. Now he roars me and brings out my Ninjas, which is like, ah, oh, crap. Uh, it is, it's uh, useless because in the next turn he will die or he, if he decides to go for some uh, move, it will die because it's at 1 HP. I decided to go for the Giga Impact to do <laughs> as much damage as possible. You, you guys may know this uh, set. It's, it's uh, from MB set. So yeah, now here comes Rhyperior and I decide to finish him with the EQ and yeah, so his, uh, his uh, Empoleon goes down, now here comes Rose Raid and because he's faster than me, uh, he goes for the rest which is like, ah uh, crap, and I decide to go for the Mega Horn uh, to do some damage before dying because my Rhyperior will die thanks to the Life Orb and the... Uh, and the uh, burn. So now here comes my Snorlax, and now this is uh, the the point where this uh, Rose Raid, well, where where this uh, opponent uh, made the bad uh, mistake of not switching out his Rose Raid. I decided to start uh, stockpiling, and in the next turn I decided to go for the Bullet Drum so I can boost my attack and go from there. Now here com here comes this uh, Ombreon, I guess he was expecting me to uh, continue going for the cur for the uh, stockpile so I can finish him, but no. Nope. Uh, now I decide to go for the body slam to finish this Ombreon. Even though he went for the curse, that is not uh, enough to survive uh, my body slam, so that's a two hit KO. And there goes uh, Ombreon. And basically this is going to be the match because I will be... Uh, uh, killing all of his guys with the body slam. Here comes Crocodile and he tries to do some uh, work. And uh, he went for the Iki, but that won't do <laughs> anything to my Snorlax. So there it goes. Now here comes this uh, this uh, Rose Raid. I guess it's his last guy. He decides to go for the Giga Drain just to do as much damage as possible. But as I said, uh, nothing can touch my Snorlax uh, right now. And I will be able to finish him with the body slam, and this is going to be the game. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, you can comment, rate my video if you want. That would be really, um, uh, uh, that will be uh, amazing if you can uh, comment and uh, tell me how can I improve. Also, my uh, the link of my channel will be in the description. So if you guys uh, like me, you can uh, check me out. I do some um, PO, some live narrations, uh, Wi-Fi battles, and I started uh, an LP. So uh, hopefully uh, I, I can entertain you and this is going to be uh, the end of my narration. As, as, as I said, thank you guys for watching. So Chrisbury is out.